Reading for June 9th, Science of Mind, The Philosophy of Faith, A Way of Life by Ernest Holmes. Reading from page 222, paragraph 4, through page 223, paragraph 2, using inclusive language. How Habits Are Acquired and Treated What is a habit? A habit is desire objectified. The continuous character of one's thoughts and feelings. Desire for something that will give satisfaction. At the root of all habit is one basic thing, the desire to express life. There is an urge to express in all people, and this urge, operating through the channels of creative mind, looses energy into action and compels the individual to do something. Back of all this desire is the impulse of spirit to express. In people, this impulse must express at the level of their consciousness. For each, for the joy of working and each in their separate star, shall paint the thing as they see it for the God of things as they are. Some express themselves constructively and some destructively. Suppose a person who has a liquor habit comes to you to be healed. You would not treat that habit. You would not pray for the person to be healed. You would know that you are dealing with a person who has the desire to express life and who, for the moment, thinks they must express it in terms of intoxication. They once thought this expressed reality to them. They now know that it does not, but they cannot, with mere willpower, stop it, for the habit appears to have taken complete possession of them. We might well remember always that unless we control thought, it will control us. In giving treatment, first recognize who and what this person is, saying something like this. This person is the full and complete expression of truth, and as such, they are free from any sense of limitation. They are not bound by any sense of inferiority, which they need to cover up, for they are a unique individuality expressing all the attributes of God. They are free from any delusion or fear of delusion. They know that the spirit of truth within them is complete and always satisfied. They have no longing outside of the longing to express their own divinity, and they have the assurance that they shall be able to gratify this. Blessed are they who do hunger and thirst after righteousness, right living, for they shall be filled. This thing which calls itself the liquor habit has no power over them and cannot operate through them. By the power of this word which I am now speaking, this habit is completely destroyed and forever obliterated. Then mentally see them free and harmoniously expressing life and happiness.